like it's kind of taken off again. And, uh, and you know, so I really love making films. Absolutely love making films. But you know, I make them by hand. I make them with a scalpel and uh, and, and film. And I that's why this abstract in some way. Well, yeah, you know, using that kind of abstract work and t tying it down to some kind of commercial sort of reason. Yeah, but I think it, it's what's interesting. It's not necessarily um, uh, just commercially driven. I mean, there's a commercial aspect to it which has to be there, but the actual work itself isn't isn't uh, driven by that as being the main the main thing. It's actually to be that free and that creative with it and then applying it to a commercial you know and uh, mm -hmm. it's quite a nice one. this was a show I had in uh, uh, this was projected in Leicester Square on a big screen in Leicester Square in like 2000 I think it was that was when the when the Euros were on mm -hmm. and so I, I, I <laughs> Oh, the Eurovision Song Contest. Maybe the choices of the streets that themselves out upon a plane for him to choose. But hey, dude. Place all the ads. So it was up for like uh, a month. Uh -huh. So they were okay. all the ads. Uh -huh. was, and for me, that's, you know, words like don't mean anything. That, that's, that's a good swear word to me. Actually. Mm. That's a proper mm -hmm. swear word. Mm. You know, yeah, it was good, it was a good show. People like Yoko and Damien Hurst and all sorts of people put work in it. It was good. Uh -huh. But anyway, I've now pushed it on. <laughs> Here's a piece. You might find this interesting, actually. This is what we, uh, me and Jamie just did for um, Dr. Martin's. I first heard about Buffalo when I attended the Buffalo Theatre Company Fair in 2012. And one day he was like, you're so Buffalo. And I was like... 